Hi everyone, Belinda here. Welcome back and thank you so much for your support. Thanks for dropping in for a visit. Okay, that's for another little check-in. Okay, been to doctors again. Also started with acupuncture. I'll tell you about that later. And um, all is going well. Still there. Have to watch my speech and not overstress. Soon, I hope my voice amplifiers are coming in. So make life a little easier to project out there. <laughs> so anyway, again, thank you for your support. Support is very key to my health. Especially with the pseudo barber on here. It's also connected your facial to the emotional pathways, neurons. So I can get very emotional and very into the heart. Lord knows I like that already, but now it's even worse. Yikes! <laughs> so I also want to talk to you today in this video about some health um which is one of the number one keys is our diet so i found something i didn't realize how important it was especially with me now and others with als we've been eating it growing up and then we stopped why because we got lazy, didn't want to do it, lazy because we were working all day and didn't want to come home and into the kitchen and start cooking bone broth, which is what our parents use as soup. Now, why is this so good for all of us, including me and others with ALS? Unbelievable. Our parents knew we should have stayed with it. There's glucosamine, which is good for our joint health and getting up and down the hip and our knees. And collagen, good for our hair, our nails, our skin. And here's a big one for me. Amino acids, protein, glycine, and more. Why are these things important? It helps to synthesize the DNA, which is very important for my neurons, for helping them to heal our nerve system. They need help, and I be giving them as much as I can. So I'm going to show you how to make bone broth. Come with me into the kitchen. You all have to do it. Oh my God, so good. Okay, so let's off to the kitchen we go. <laughs> okay, so now it's up to 350 for roasting. Let's get these bones in to roast. There we go. Get them, remember, at the market. Beautiful bone marrow. See that bone marrow? That's key. That. So, in they go for half an hour into the oven. Away we go. Okay, we'll be back when that's done. Okay, so time's up. We've been roasting for half an hour. Looking good. Let's take them out. Do this one-handed using the phone. Okay. Well, look at that. Looking good. So now, you take your bones, 
and get them into the crock pot. Okay, go for this one. In we go. That's one. Ah, there we go. There. Now, now that they're in the pot, I'm gonna be adding now the ingredients. So I'll take this over to the counter and we start adding. Okay, so now to add the ingredients, I have carrot. If you're using organic, you don't have to peel it. So a carrot, a celery, and an onion. So let's get these all in. Here we go. This is an easy way of doing it with one hand. <laughs> there we go. Add that all in. Good. Just make sure they're all around. Onions in there. There we go. All nice. Now, an important ingredient is apple cider vinegar. You need a tablespoon of that. But what I'm using is my own vinegar, my four thieves vinegar which is already infused with some herbs like lavender, sage, rosemary. If you want you can add spices now for flavor but very important is to add a tablespoon or two of the apple cider vinegar. Why? This acid will bring out the nutrients that we need are the bone marrow and veggies. Okay, now with that, also, this is pepper. We can pre grind it. Black pepper, put a pinch of that in, and one more. And your salt. We use Epsom salt. Or not sorry, uh, absent. It's the Himalayan song. Yeah. So there we go. All ready to go. All the ingredients are in. So now the next one is our water. I'm using filtered water, which you should do. If you don't have any filters at home, you can buy some. I would recommend distilled water. More pieces of organic and pure as we can get. There we go. There. Now let's put the lid on. Lid on. Turn up. Bring it to a full boil. And then, once it's boiling for a bit, we'll turn it down and we'll catch up. Okay? So, now we have been cooking for 24 hours. Let's take a peek, see what's happening. Now, looking good. Let's see. Oh now, let's put a piece to look at. Yeah, cooking nice. Smells good. That see how the bone marrow is cooking away? That's what we want. Now beef should be minimum thirty six hours or more. Chicken 24. So now for the next 24 hours, I'm going to add some spices, some bay leaves, oregano, 
and basil. In we go. There. Let's give it a stir. And another 24 hours. Do a little check in. Yummy. Smells awesome. Okay, so we're on the last little bit. Day two. And now, for the last two hours, I'm going to add some parsley and garlic. Okay? Now, why do you ask me add this for the healing and the detox? So, in goes the garlic, a couple of cloves. Remember, you don't have to finely chop because we are going to strain it. In another two hours, we will be done. Yeah, parsley is very good for the healing, detoxing. Same with the garlic. It helps to kill off any germs and viruses as well. And tastes yummy. Okay, two more hours and we will be done. Our bone broth. Okay, see you in two hours. Okay, so the last two hours of garlic and parsley cooked and now the bone broth is ready. Now I want to show you see if we can get a bone out here. Come on bone. There we go. Now notice the marrow has been absorbed and cooked into the broth. That is what is so healthy for us. Now, while that's been cooking the last two hours, I sterilize my glass jars and glass pitcher. Now, I'm going to pour it out and sieve out all the bits. And we'll pour it then into the glass jars Keep it in the fridge, or you can freeze it for future. And make some lovely soup with it by pulling out again. And you can cook some fresh vegetables and make a vegetable soup. Or just drink it like a cup of broth tea. One cup a day is so good as we talked about. So, I'll let you see the end result because I need two hands and it's quite the job to pour this bone broth into the jars. Mmm. And done. All jarred up and ready to eat. Look at that. You see that? Beautiful. Smells good. Looks good. Make this a part of your everyday. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon. Cheers. Enjoy.